Alright, so hey guys, <coughs> stream my serious here, and today I'm going to show you how to make a really nice intro. It's the same as the um, Simplicity intro template, but I'm going to show you how to make it so you can make some changes to it and stuff. So, yeah, first up, we're just going to make the timeline to 200 frames. Then we're going to add a text, go to Mode Graph, Mode Text. Gonna line it to the middle and I'm just gonna type tutorial. I'm gonna use a font called Typograph Typograph Pro and it's a it's a paid font but I and I don't remember where I got it from but it's search on YouTube or something. And then I'm gonna change the depth to 75 and we're gonna add some fillet cap, fillet cap. Just gonna change the radius to three, and let's see how that looks. Yeah, that looks that looks alright. So we're just gonna copy this text. Con command or Control C, Command or Control V to paste. Then we're going to take the second one and we're going to move it back all the way back. Let's just see here. Um, yeah. Like that. Now we're going to change this to five. Let's see. Five. Let's see how that looks like. Just takes a bit, a little, a little bit time to render, but that's okay. Yeah, that looks alright. So now we're gonna get uh, make some materials. First, double click and make material. I'm gonna make the first color this bluish color, really nice blue. I'm gonna go into reflection, change the brightness to 10, and gonna add a Fresnel and change that to 20, like that. Go into luminance, and we're gonna add the same blue color, a bit darker. And change the brightness to something like 10%. I'm gonna move that onto the first text like that. And we're just gonna copy this material, double click, and change the color to black. And on the luminance also. And move that to the second text like that. And then you get a really nice text reflection thingy. And I've just used Grayscale Gorilla Slidekick Pro to set up a light scene here. So if you don't have it, you can go download the Simplicity Intro template, and it, the Grayscale Gorilla Slidekick Pro is in the template pack. So yeah, just go and do that. And next, you can see you get this really nice reflection on the edges here, and it just looks really sexy. So yeah. I'm just gonna change it a bit to make it two radius to two. And now let's go on to animate it and first go on to 30 key 30 frames and select them both and hit the keyframe button. Then take the first text and just gonna go up here. Move it first, rotate it like that maybe. And then we're gonna move it out of the way like that, so you can't see it here. And then we're gonna take this, and we're gonna rotate this like that. I'm gonna move that out here. So, and then you're gonna hit the keyframe, and yeah, sorry, you gotta take first. Take the first one first, and then you take this one. So, yeah, like that. Move it out, 
so you can't see it anymore and hit a keyframe and we'll see what we have now we have the text coming in like this comes in like that let's see and from the top as you can see the text comes in like this and then we just gonna select them both and click alt G to group them and I'm just gonna name this group tutorial like that and now you gotta hit a keyframe on the 30 and go to maybe 60 and rotate the text like that yeah like that let's see how that looks yeah that look, doesn't look good so change all the degrees to 360 put another keyframe and let's see what we have now yeah that doesn't look good either so if we change these to 180 no damn it yeah we change these two to 180 and change the upper to 540 then you get the text like this so now let's see what we have A really nice rotation As you can see the text comes in start to rotate I'm just gonna move this keyframe to 80 to get a slower smoother rotation like that and then we're gonna go up here to the splines and then we're gonna add a helix and then we are going to change the plane to ZY like I did there just gonna go on to this view make sure the helix is in the middle of the text because this is the line that comes in here goes around the text and goes out again so it's important that it's in the middle and that it don't interfere with the text and stuff so yeah we're gonna change the start radius we're gonna change the end radius to 400 centimeters and the start radius to 200 so you get it gets bigger and bigger now uh, let's take it 300 oh man 300 and 150 100 let's try 100 like that then we are going to change it so it comes in from here and it goes and it goes out here on top of so it comes comes in here and it goes out here let's see how that looks that looks really nice actually then we're gonna add another we're gonna add a circle change the radius to let's say 15 centimeters then we're gonna add a sweep nerves to make this line three dimen three dimensional so you're gonna take the circle and the helix and you're gonna drag it in and as you can see you get a really nice line and we're gonna add a bluish color to the line also but a bit darker like this maybe yeah that thinks that's gonna look yeah that looks really nice so maybe we can change the radius to 10 Nah, 13, 13, that looks really nice, 13 centimeters, just gonna render and check out how it looks. If this slow motherfucker computer can render. I've been thinking guys, should I maybe buy some more RAM memory for my MacBook? Because now I have 4 gigabytes and I'm 
it's enough, but I was thinking about maybe buying 8 gigabytes to make my computer really a lot faster so I can render intros and stuff a lot faster. And I checked around on the internet and stuff, and I found one 8 gigabyte kit which is 2 4 gigabytes big gigabyte rams for ninety dollars and that is really cheap I think it's like cuz I live in Norway and ninety dollars is like it's not a lot for me cuz yeah in Norway it will cost like let's let's see uh, it will cost like one hundred fifty dollars and stuff so it's really expensive in Norway but yeah as you can see here this looks really nice so now I thought we could try something and rotate it up like that if that works and then we're just gonna make start radius a bit bigger maybe yeah like that and that looks really nice I must say so now we're gonna animate the line so here the text is finished animating we're gonna go on to 100 frames sweep nerves object we're gonna change the end growth to 0% Hold control and click on the little circle and then go to 130 which is one second for me. And I'm gonna change it to 100% and now let's see the full animation. Okay that was a little bit fast so I'm gonna move it to 150 frames. that looks really nice I think and let's see the, there we don't need it to go all the way cuz it's just a waste so now let's see how it looks like we got this slow line going which is looks really nice I think and then we're gonna just change the timeline to 180 frames and yeah this is basically the intro you can do whatever you want with it you can add some flares which I did in After Effects on the template cause but this takes really long time to render so I'm not gonna render it out and show you how to make how to add flares cause you probably know how to do that and if you don't I'm gonna make a tutorial on it just leave it in the comment section below if you don't know how to add flares and um, yeah I thought I think this was looks really nice looks really good the outcome was really nice I think you got this really nice gloss hair on the line and on the edges of the letters as you can see and then we're gonna change the render settings you have the global illumination GI mode IR plus QMC camera animation the diffuse depth to 2 and the gamma to 1.8 gonna add ambient occlusion not gonna do anything with it gonna just add a color correction I'm not gonna do anything with it and add a depth of field then I'm gonna change it to ADHDV slash HDTV 720 29.97 which it's 720p HD and then frame range I'm going to change it to all frames so it renders from here to 180 frames and I'm going to save it as a quick time movie check alpha's channel and straight alpha And I'm gonna change it to H.264 best 
frames per second 30 and I'm just gonna save it on my desktop so yeah let's see like that and we're gonna go into anti-aliasing change it to best and animation and max level 4x4 four four. and yeah I'm gonna leave this project file in the description for you guys so yeah this has been Streamlabs Studios and I hope you like this tutorial it's a really simple intro but it does the job it's a really nice looking intro simple and clean and yeah I hope you like this tutorial and see you guys Streamlabs Studios out